I hope you're well and you've had a good day and you're having a rested evening. Um, I've tried to do this video uh, about three times now, so um, I hope you're going to get this one um, uh, out and as I need it to be. So um, I wanted to come on and quickly pray for uh, pray against um, evil arrows that have been sent out, as in. In the word of God in Proverbs 26 2 it talks about um, uh, it says a curse without a cause I'll put it underneath here so I can't remember the exact words but it says in so many words I'm paraphrasing now but I'll put it underneath this video uh, in the description it says that a curse sent out will not alight on somebody who doesn't deserve it so, you know, first of all, if you're someone that's for the first time is hearing about, like, what do you mean by a curse? What do you mean? Well, let me explain. You know, basically, it's simple. A curse is when someone speaks badly against somebody, whether it be to them, intentionally speaking badly against them, or uh, from afar, they're speaking from afar, things from afar. And so when they're speaking badly of somebody. So if you're a child of God and you've given your heart to the Lord, you're repented of your sin, you're living a holy life, you're living unto God, holiness and righteousness, you, you're giving your heart to the Lord in, um, you know, you've repented and you're living an upright life before the Lord and you're seeking the Lord to live according to his word. And, you know, the Lord doesn't say, you know, come to me and be perfect. He says, just Give me your heart and give me your obedience. Give me your heart and your will and he'll transform us. So if you're one of those people, you know, and and uh, somebody is speaking bad things from afar over you, they will, they will bounce back and they will go back to the sender. When the Lord says, you know, what you sow is what you will reap. So what you sow in the ground, whether it be good, whether it be bad, whether it be good deeds or bad deeds, whether it be good words or bad words, uh, blessings which are good words or curses which are which are bad words, um, uh, you know, if you're sowing those things, um, in sending them out to people and doing, saying things you shouldn't say and doing things you know you shouldn't do, whether it be as I said, whether it be good or bad, there is a harvest from that. There is a harvest that will come from those seeds that are sown by somebody. And it's true. It's real. It's very real. The Lord says, what a man soweth, so shall he reap. You know, and if somebody is speaking against a child of God, they don't know the word of God. Because the Lord says these things. He says in the word, you can't do that. It's not It's not allowed. Because of which we were made in the image of God and we're the Lord's. And so he says, what you sow is what you will reap. And he says, um, the Lord also says in his word that you can't touch his anointed. Um, and it's not allowed. It's a warning from God. And also, uh, what I wanted to pray against, which is um, basically evil arrows, which are word curses, things that are spoken from afar. Um, and he says in the word in Psalm, um, 91 also it talks about arrows it says um, you, you will not fear the terror of the night nor of the arrow that flies by day so the you know there are arrows that can be sent out by the enemy it's all from the enemy if it's not of God and there are people that intentionally choose to serve darkness and send out those evil arrows as well um, through words um, whatever practices that they're doing that are not of God um, they are not of God, they're of the darkness. So I wanted to come on and pray. I just felt like I should come on and pray against those um, things that have been sent out that are not of God. And um, so let's just pray. Lord, I just, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, I just pray now for those who are yours. Lord, you know who they are, who are watching this. This is just for them. Lord God, I pray and just reverse in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil arrow that's been sent out um, in the name of Jesus Christ, I will reverse it back to sender. 
the enemy. In the name of Jesus, every evil arrow that's been sent out against marriages, against children, against um, our lives, Lord God, uh, for those who are in the body of Christ, we reverse those evil arrows in the name of Jesus Christ and we cancel them out. We nullify them in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus Christ now. In the name of Jesus, they're cancelled. They shall not stand. They shall not stand. Nor shall they, it shall not happen. It shall not stand. If they shall not stand, they're nullified. In the name of Jesus Christ and by the blood of Jesus. They shall not stand, nor shall they happen. In the name of Jesus Christ, we cancel them out and we rest them back to sender. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, our God, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name. So just say a quiet prayer to yourself right now. If you, um, someone that prays, uh, in your sacred holy prayer language um, or just in your understanding if you just say a prayer to yourself now you know what you're bringing before the Lord you know what you want God to uh, deliver you from you know what you want to pray and reverse those evil arrows um, um, that have been sent out against whatever area of your life it may be maybe it's your health you just right now just take a moment just to pray just quietly to the Lord um, in your heart to God and you bringing that before the Lord just for Jesus name we pray Amen we thank you Lord we just plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon our children in the name of Jesus we cancel that out um, bad dreams Things that would be sent out, to, um, anything that's been sent out to our children, we cancel in the name of Jesus Christ the um, evil arrows of um, nightmares. Um, anything that's been sent out to them, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, we reverse those evil arrows in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. We nullify them by the blood of Jesus Christ, and we decree and declare: sweet sleep is their portion. And sweet dreams are their portion in Jesus' name. They shall sleep in sweet, perfect peace and undisturbedness. In the name of the Lord our God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. We invoke the blood of Jesus Christ upon their dreamland, upon their upon the children, upon their beds, in the name of Jesus. And we decree and declare no evil will go near their dwelling, nor any plague go near their tent. In Jesus' name we pray. We cancel those uh, dreams. We cancel out bad dreams and nightmares against them in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. And anything that's not of God, we rebuke off them and rebuke off them now in the name of Jesus. And we reverse it back to sender. Um, in the name of Jesus, we reverse it back to sender to the pit where it came from in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. And we just decree and declare our children blessed. We decree and declare them covered by God. We decree and declare them blessed by God, protected by God, preserved by God. We decree and declare only the will of God for their lives shall prevail in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.